Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you how to get the most blooms from your dahlia flowers. And aren't dahlias just absolutely spectacular? They bloom midsummer all the way through the fall, seemingly with almost no human intervention. But by taking a few extra steps during the course of the growing season, you can really maximize your dahlia production. So let's start at the very beginning of the growing season and work our way through until the fall. My first tip is at the beginning of the season to pinch and propagate your dahlia plants. So at the beginning of the season when your plants have about four sets of true leaves and are 8 to 10 inches tall, pinch out the top directly above a set of leaves. This technique is sometimes called topping and it encourages the plant to create an abundance of long, tall, strong stems for you come midsummer into fall. But if you're thinking of composting those cuttings, I would encourage you to instead consider propagating them and creating even more dahlia plants to enjoy. To do this, immediately after pinching, dip the cutting, which is your pinched portion, into rooting hormone, and then stick the cutting into a prepared tray of moistened potting soil. Now just treat the cutting as you would any other baby seedling. I put mine on a heat mat under grow lights and I miss them every day until I see that they've started to root into that potting soil. Some people use a humidity dome and have good success with that. I don't personally use that, but the moral of the story is why not propagate these pinched tops and get more dahlias and have more blooms to enjoy as the year goes on. My next tip is to stake your dahlias early in the season to avoid breaking later on in the summer. Any dahlia that's going to reach a height of 36 inches or taller really does best with some kind of a staking system. So stake them immediately after planting and then continue to tie your dahlia plants to the stake every 12 to 18 inches as the season progresses. Now my next tip is to give the proper amount of water at the proper time. Now when you plant your dahlia tubers, we don't water them in, but once they're actively growing and about 24 inches tall, it's time to begin a regular watering schedule. Now soil and weather conditions vary greatly from one location to another, but our goal is to give the roots, which are approximately 8 inches below the soil surface, 1 to 2 inches of water per week. Deep watering two to three times per week is always better than shallow daily watering. Now my next tip is to fertilize. Dahlias are hungry plants that benefit from consistent fertilizer, but how much and how often really depends on the fertility of your soil. So at the beginning of the growing season, send a soil sample to your local extension office or a reputable soil lab, and then choose the fertilizer that's best for your particular growing situation. Dahlias really need a full range of plant nutrients, but generally speaking, they should get more nitrogen in their youth and less nitrogen as they mature. So start fertilizing once the plants are 24 inches tall. Fish emulsion is an excellent early season fertilizer that can be applied once or twice a month, depending on the dilution rate and the fertility of your soil. Mid-season, switch to a low nitrogen fertilizer and continue feeding once per month. Additionally, a weekly foliar feeding of comfrey or compost tea will do your plants an amazing deal of good in the garden. Tip number five is to deadhead your dahlias on a regular basis. This will tell the plant to continue to produce flowers rather than to produce seed. And when a dahlia is all finished, it will drop its petals and the bloom head will come to a point. That's how you can tell that's a spent bloom. So what I do is just remove that flower all the way back to the main stem. And by doing this, it tells my dahlia to produce long, strong stems for me in the coming days. It also opens up the plant a bit, providing good air circulation in and around the plant. And that just helps with diseases like powdery mildew. So a win overall when it comes to deadheading spent dahlia flowers. 
My next tip is to make sure every dahlia bloom is blemish free and usable by using organza bags to protect your dahlias against munching insects, things like Japanese beetles, cucumber beetles, earwigs. They love munching on dahlias and thrips can be a really serious problem as well. But instead of using harsh pesticides, just use a simple organza bag. You can find these on Amazon for about $10 for even a hundred sometimes. This bag I'm using here is a 12 by 16 bag. I use that for bigger dahlias. If I have a small pom-pom dahlia, I would probably just use an 8 by 8 organza bag. But once the dahlia is butted up, but before it started to open, I put the organza bag on my stem. I close the bag. I want it tight around the stem, but I don't want it so tight that it's crushing the dahlia bloom itself. And you can see I just let the dahlias open in the bag and I cut them with the bag on. So let's move on to that now, cutting dahlia blooms. And cutting your dahlias is the best part of growing dahlias, would you agree? And not only is it a fun and rewarding experience to bring dahlias inside your home, but it also tells the plant to keep on producing flowers for you instead of letting the flowers fade. And that actually will tell the plant to go to seed. Now, oftentimes you'll see dahlias cut very short, but in order to get long stems and lots of stems all season long, I wanna make a pretty deep cut into the plant itself. I can tell that this particular dahlia is ready because all the back petals look really good and stiff. And if we were to give them a good rub there on the back, they wouldn't go anywhere. So this dahlia is ready for harvest. But instead of cutting it up here or even here, I'm gonna cut it all the way down here right above a set of leaves, giving me a good 24 inch stem. And next what I'm gonna do is sacrifice all these side branches, even this one here. And so there we have it, a gorgeous dahlia on this wonderful long stem that I can use in bouquet work. Great for wrapped bouquets with a long stem like this. And because I cut it nice and low on the plant, right here from where I cut it is gonna function just like a pinch. From there, the side branches are going to form and it's gonna be really, really long stems later in the season. And then I can come back and cut this plant again. And my final tip is to start with high performing varieties. Some varieties just produce more stems per plant than other varieties. So varieties such as Cornell, Cornell Bronze, Ivanetti, Isabel, Blizzard, American Dawn are all great choices if you really want the most dahlia flowers per plant. Well friends, I sure hope this video was helpful and that you get the most blooms from your dahlias this year. Happy gardening. Bye.